Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can paint your own rocks. Now I'm going to show you a couple different designs that you can do, but you can also try your own designs if you want, or you can do a little bit of both. You can try mine and do some of your own. Now what you can do with these rocks, you can always just put them in your own backyard, put them by your pool, put them in your front yard, or if you ask an adult to go for a walk with you in your neighborhood or go to a local park, you can leave these rocks out for someone else to find so that their day can just be brightened. I like to put positive messages or Bible verses on mine so that people can just be reminded that they're loved and that people are looking out for them and that God is always with them. So you can add messages to your rocks as well or you could just paint a picture of something happy that will just bring happiness and joy to somebody's life as they find the rock. Now there's two different things you can use to paint your rocks. The first thing are these paint markers. I really like these, especially when I'm writing my messages. So these I use a lot of times when writing messages to paint my rocks, but I also use them if I'm coloring in smaller spaces on my rocks, or if I just need to have a little more control over what I'm doing, I find these work a lot better. But then you also could just use acrylic paint and some paint brushes, and you can make some beautiful creations with those as well. They're a little bit harder to write messages with, but you can always just do a picture that will bring joy and happiness, and you can use your paint, or you can use both of them. You can use your paint to paint your picture and use markers to write your messages on them. So you would do whatever works for you. And so we have our paint markers, and then we have our paint. And then once you're all done with your rocks and they've dried, I recommend spraying them with this Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer. That's going to keep the paint from running off the rock when you have them outside and in the rain. I made one a few weeks ago and then we've had tons of rain and my picture is still there perfectly. None of it's washed away. So I find that this acrylic sealer really does help and it really works to make sure those pictures don't disappear. However, you don't have to do this. You can, you can choose to do this if you want or you can leave this off and then just think about where you're putting your rocks and making sure they're not going to get super wet so that the message and the pictures don't run off. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a couple different designs of how you can paint your rock and then you can go ahead and try them or try your own and then share your pictures on our Facebook page and I can't wait to see all of the designs that you make. So the first design that we're going to make is going to be of a bumblebee. So I started by painting my rock using my acrylic paint, but if you're using paint markers, you can also color it. I decided to color it blue to look like the sky, but you can color it whatever color you like or you could just leave it plain. Now I'm going to take my black paint marker and I'm going to draw the bumblebee outline so that I can get ready to color it in. So now I have the outline of my bumblebee and I've colored in the parts that are going to be black and now I'm going to use the yellow to color in the stripe, the face, and the two little dots on the antennas. So now I have the yellow colored in and now I'm going to use the white to color in the wings. Now using my black marker, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a face on my bumblebee. And so now my bumblebee has a face and now over on the other side of the rock next to the bumblebee, I'm going to write be happy, but I'm going to spell out the word B as in bumblebee instead of the word B as in B-E. So it's going to be B-E-E -E and then happy. So now it looks just like this and then I'm going to add some polka dots from the bottom of the word happy to the bottom of the bee to look like the bee is flying. And so there you have your bee happy rock and then you can go ahead and either keep this or you can put it out somewhere in your neighborhood or at a park so that someone can find it and they can be filled with joy as they see this rock. So the next design I'm going to be showing you how to make is how to make a ladybug on your rock. So I'm going to start with a black paint marker or you can use your acrylic paint and you're going to draw a slightly curved line to separate where the face and the body is of the ladybug. And I'm going to color in the smaller half black to be the face of the ladybug.
And then I'm going to color the larger part using a red marker since I'm going to make a red ladybug. But if you want to get creative, you can make your ladybug whatever color you would like. So now I have the body of my ladybug painted and now I'm going to use my white marker and I'm going to draw two circles on the black part of the ladybug and then color them in to be the eyes of the ladybug. And then using a black marker, I'm going to add a dot inside the white part to be the other parts of the eyes. And then I'm going to use the red marker to add a smile. And then using my black marker, I'm going to draw a stripe down the middle of the red to show where the two wings would separate. And then I'm going to add the polka dots on the ladybug. And so now I have my ladybug rock painting and then you can let it dry and then you can leave it just as is or you can flip it over and write a happy note on the other side or a Bible verse or something just so that it can bring joy to people or you could just leave it just as it is. So I hope you had fun trying these different rock paintings with me and if you tried these share a picture or if you tried any other rock painting ideas there's so many different ones out there share pictures on our Facebook page and I can't wait to see what you came up with. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.